Oh hey, yo, what's up guys? This is Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action, back using the heartbeat tool today. And I want to show you something totally different, something we've never covered using the tool. Here it is, guys. We're going to cover some cars. And not just any car. We're talking about the iconic Dodge Charger. And not the normal iconic Dodge Charger you might be thinking about. Those, you know, 69 Chargers. Oh, hell no. We've got an electric muscle car Dodge Charger. Yeah, it's a little strange here, guys, but muscle cars and electricity <laughs> and lithium batteries are coming to American muscle, guys. We've got the brand new looks of the upcoming Dodge Charger. Also included in this cool heartbeat video is some 2004 video game cutscene CGI. It's just really, really awful. And a CEO that wants to send it and... Tell the suits, say, you can't tell me what to do, and then totally do exactly what the suits told him to do. Anyways, guys, I'm not going to break it. I'm not going to I'm not gonna ruin it for you. Let's check it out with the heartbeat tool at h.ki or hkey. Let's go. All right, here we go. So here's the Dodge Next Gen Charger. We're going to be seeing a video with Tim Kuniskis and that CGI of the Dodge Brothers from years back. Let's kick it off with the new Dodge Ram. Let's go. The thing you need to know about the Dodge brand is that we always get to where we're going without ever forgetting where we've been. The okay. miles under our belts, the 100 plus years of know-how and swagger fuels us with the highest octane, gives us the greatest charge, and always will. All right, so so far so good. Uh, it's a pretty cool looking uh, start up here. Let's go switch up to 21 seconds here. Again, I'm using the heartbeat tool, and we're going to take a look at the 1910 style newspaper. Let's take a look at this one. Yeah. He's waiting for Charlie Chaplin to jump out. I'm going to give them an A plus for style at this part here. They really did capture the old aesthetic from the old hand cranked. Uh, they were hand cranked uh, cameras. So here we go. Let's skip forward a little bit here and let's go to a moment that I call full frontal. <laughs> here we go. Look at this. Pick up your change, buddy. And let's meet some brothers. Look at this strange 2004 style CGI. Hey. Okay. So far, so good. Look at these two. This is like a video game from 2005. What the hell? Horace and John. Holy. And that, by the way, is the CEO of Dodge, the current CEO. Wow. So let's old school versus new school. At least they kind of color corrected it so that it looks like they belong in the same sheet. So, you know, score to their to their composite guys and gals. Tramming. What is that? And who the hell are you? Whoa, whoa, calm down, guys. I'm on your side. You can put down those wrenches. I'm on your team. It's okay. Damn, it wasn't easy getting here. And I don't have a lot of time. So here's the deal. You so that's the acting, uh, for better or for worse. Uh, let's go ahead and skip forward here because they just have this sort of, you know, hanging out and getting to know each other. Of course, these guys have wrenches in their hands like they're. Goombas from, uh, <laughs> you know, from a Godfather show of some sort. But hey, whatever, so be it. Let's get forward to 251 Brotherhood of Ram. Let's just say that you brothers created a brotherhood. You built something more than a car that made the guys across town mad. You guys made your name on big city streets, back roads of blue shiners, and on the high banks of racetracks across America. Yeah. Look, the Dodge name became known for standout design and performance. The name Dodge, your name, 100 years from now, has become synonymous with baddest, quickest, okay. fastest. Dodgiest. Yeah, okay, maybe not Dodgiest, but uh, jokes aside, guys, the old school Chargers are pretty wild. Not going to lie about it. Let's get forward a little bit here, and let's take a look at the batteries. I'm talking about batteries driving electric yeah. drive motors to deliver instant torque to all four wheels. 
The combination is going to redefine what it means to never lift and push the performance of this new Dodge muscle car beyond any conventional, no prep muscle car. So I don't know about that. If you're a marketing team watching this, to say that you don't lift, that's generally a no-no. I mean, do you even lift, bro? Come on, you want to steer clear of that. This is a muscle car. Muscle cars lift. The dudes that drive muscle cars lift. It's what they do. They practically got protein. You know how it is. All right, anyways, let's skip forward a little bit here. Uh, no, there's no Hemis. They're not going to save the planet. Well, actually, you know, let's watch this. This is an interesting one. But most people think electric cars are supposed yeah, to save this. the planet. Electric cars are supposed to be green and politically correct. So this thing must be super efficient and environmentally friendly, right? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. But that was never the point. The point was that they told us we couldn't sell Hemis. But they never told us that we had to be boring and slow. So if this is a weird kind of created a false dichotomy of the suits told us we couldn't or the people said we couldn't sell Hemis. So we're doing this instead. But it is environmentally friendly, maybe. I don't know. It just it just, just seems a little odd with their approach on the marketing on this one. But anyways, uh, I guess this guy's trying to be a rebel and the CEO is also trying to f be PC and green, which is also fine. But I don't know. As they say, pick a lane. Anyways, let's get forward here. Let's look at the rear tires, the discharge rate. They start getting into some specs. It gets interesting. Everything that is cool about this car, from the power wing design, it doesn't look like a typical battery electric melted jelly bean, to the 325 rear tires, to the E-Rep transmission, and most importantly, the ultra high performance 550 kilowatt discharge rate. All yeah, so that's, uh, that's a pretty good size kilowatt discharge rate. Work together to ensure maximum acceleration, but hurt efficiency. But hurt. That's also another word for the marketing team. But hurt can be two words or it can be one word, as in he was very but hurt. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll just keep going. Let's keep going. Let's get forward to some video game looking action here. Fuel economy of their muscle car. Yeah, they never did. That's not why they bought it. And that's. Yeah, that guy looked like he had a lobotomy, or he's from a 2004 video game. You saw it, I saw it, you can't avoid it. It's not why anyone will buy the new Charger Daytona. They're going to buy it because of the stunning stop you in your track styling and the segment redefining performance. Okay. The volt scat back Charger Daytona will put out over 670 horsepower. There you have it, 670 horsepower with the scat back whatever that might mean and scat has multiple meanings by the way marketing team if you're watching this and over 600 pound feet of infant torque transferred through a selectable all-wheel drive system it's gonna out accelerate today's red-eye supercharged v8 and i'm not even talking about the 800 volt srt banshee system yet yes there's an srt banshee system that hasn't been unveiled yet uh, they don't state the specs on it but I don't know, whenever they do launch it, it could be some piece of work, let me tell you. Uh, guys, I'm going to skip forward a little bit here. Uh, we're going to take a look here at a little bit at the interior. What you will want is the Charger Daytona's game-changing interior. With more trick tech, it delivers best-in-class rear cargo space with a rear hatch and full flat seats. You're going to get muscle car design and UV-like cargo carrying capacity. The thing is amazing. But what could be even better than a muscle coupe with UV capability and the functionality of a hatch? Yeah, for those of you that like to take your children to piano practice in a muscle car that's eco-friendly with electric... Yeah, well, whatever, let's take... You'll see. Well, easy. A four-door with all that as well. Yes, the Charger Daytona will be available as a two-door coupe right. and the four-door sedan hatch, both with the same wide-body stance that will put the passive world on notice. So there's that. So if you're a family man... And you have a four-door, but a muscle car, but electric. Wow, the, it's getting interesting. Uh, guys, last thing, a couple things I want to show you here. Is let's take a look at their exhaust system. It's really loud, by the way. And what else puts the passive world on notice is our Pratsonic chambered exhaust system. It screams as loud as today's supercharged V8s. Whether you opt for the 496 horse RT or the 670 horsepower scat pack, or later, the SRT Banshee, the SRT Banshee, how many horsepower is that going to have? Who the hell knows? Every Charger carries the Dodge Torch when it comes to touching all the senses. So there you go. There's the last look. And then a final moment I want to share with you is 
Twin turbo, it's called. Uh, yeah, you'll see. Scream of the most power dense internal combustion engine that I just ever yeah. installed in a muscle car. It's not all electric, everybody. In 2025, the all new Charger will also be available as a six pack with the twin turbo hurricane. Mm. Standard output hits the streets with 420 horsepower and the HO spins the dyno to 550 horsepower. But these aren't old school engines. No, these hurricanes embody everything that we've learned about piston power since the doors of the Dodge Brothers shop first swung open. All right. Twin turbos that perform like they're constantly spooled and a drive line that houses an eight speed transmission and an all wheel drive system standard. So there you have it. The twin turbo editions are out there, even though the horsepower seems a little bit on the light side, all things compare. All things uh, considered part of me, but no doubt they're much more upgradable, I'm sure. So there you go, guys. This is just a quick heartbeat moment, a section of moments that I enjoyed in the new upcoming chargers. Let me know what you think in the description below. Thanks for watching.